guys, Natalie Jill here. Welcome back to Happy, Healthy, and Fit. Today I'm with my good friend, Brett Hobel. You might know him from The Biggest Loser, season 11. Yes. He is awesome, and again, Brett, I asked you for abs today. I wanted to see the abs for everyone. He's, he's not showing them, but he's amazing, amazing. <laughs> he, this guy knows abs like no other person. Um, and what I love is that he knows fast abs, fast workouts. You don't have to spend hours. You don't you don't talk about hours at the gym to get abs, right? It's just the few of the right us. few of the right exercises. That's right. So today he's going to abcelerate my workout, <laughs> right? Abcelerate. She doesn't need that much help, guys, right? Really? But I, I am gonna teach you some uh, more accelerated movements to typical ab training exercises for them that I'm sure you've seen. So we're gonna change it up. Now when it comes to body weight, there are three things that you can really do to make the move harder. Number one, we can add a little movement to it. As you add a little bit of movement, it's gonna be harder to control. It's gonna work your core more, core's where the abs are. Number two, we can add speed to the movement. And number three, we can reduce the stability or make it more unstable. Again, all of these things are gonna challenge your core more. More core activity, we get more abs. Love it, I'm ready to go. I'm, I'm a little scared, but I'm ready. First move, we're gonna come down for a knee tuck sit up. All right, so I'm just gonna start cranking away at these. As I go to my left, my left hand reaches out as I go to my right. So if you guys wanna make this easier, watch. I'm gonna stagger my legs, and I'm just gonna come up with one foot on the ground, and I switch. Whichever knee is up, I just come up on that side, but since both legs are on the ground, I get the weight of my legs, and it's a lot easier. As soon as I lift my leg up, oh. Single leg, less stability, harder. Now here's how we're gonna Brazilify it. Add a little capoeira move. As you come up to the left, push that kick straight out and then come down. Pull the knee to the chest, just like you did that move, and then drive the kick out. Now I'm gonna pick up the pace. And a little bit more. I could do another kick, turn onto my side. Boom! A lot of kicks that we can do on this. This is a push kick. Maybe you wanna turn over and do a little hook kick. I'm just kidding, I'm getting fancy on it. But that's how we do it, you come up, and as I add this instability, then I throw a kick. It's gonna make me crunch down a lot harder on the abs. That is how we Brazilify a knee tuck. Number two coming up. All right, I'm ready. You ready for number two? I like your colors. You're so bright. It's like so good. <laughs> All right, mountain climber hold. So when I do ab training, remember it's not just about building the muscles. You gotta burn the fat on top of the belly, baby. So we're gonna do some little bit of intervals with an ab focus. So we're gonna come up here. You're gonna give me two of these. One two, right, and then I'm gonna have you drive the kick all the way back, and then one, two, drive the kick. So when you're in here, pull it in tight, bounce a little bit, kick. Pull in tight, bounce a little bit, kick. Keep going, tight, tight. Let's make them four. So this is one, two, three, four, and we'll kick. Let's make it four. Four, three, two, one, kick. Another four, four, three, two, one, kick. Now when you come up for these, I really want you squeezing, just hold here. Hold it and squeeze and crunch down on your abs, switch. This is a single leg plank and we're having that little bounce, switch, switch. Now we're gonna do the kick. Give your abs a little break, come back. Four of them, one, two, three, and four, time. So that's taking a normal, mountain climber and adding a real ab focus where you take the front foot off the ground, you're pulling it in tight, you're really here in the hip flexion, the abs are gonna kick in for that. You get a little break by doing that reverse kick. Because most mountain climbers, it's just toes touching the ground, so you're really not working those abs. Yeah, you're just doing this, it's more shoulder. This is a way, again, instead of doing isolated ab training over and over and over again, you add a little bit of a cardio element so you get a burn, so you actually are burning a lot more calories. Just doing crunches, guys, it's not gonna burn a lot of calories. So this is a great way to sneak in some extra calories as you're doing ab training. Now, let's go to one-legged plank, because you gotta sneak in those calories. So we're gonna turn this way. Now you can do this on the forearms or on the wrists. I'm gonna go down onto my forearms, because I just did a wrist move, the mound climber. Now most of you guys have seen a one-legged plank. You take one foot off the ground like this. Here's how I'm gonna add a little bit of movement and instability. I do a leg swing all the way out, and then I'm gonna bend it and do a scorpion kick. This is how we get into Brazil, Brazilify. So I'm gonna do one of these kicks here, and then a scorpion kick, good. I swing it out as far as I can, and then I'm gonna come up. Now, if the single leg plank was too tough or the other one, just hold right here. If that gets too tough, you can obviously go down and use, but remember, no pitching a what? 
Oh, no pitch in the tent. No fall on bridge and don't come up into the turtle back or you're not gonna be working those abs. So I hope you enjoyed that little single leg plank with a little capoeira variation. What do we have next? We got the fourth move. I'm sweating guys, I'm paying some dues. It's not Photoshop. Crunch punches, here we go. So I know you guys have seen a typical crunch. Crunch up and you do a little oblique twist. I know you've seen those. We can make it a little harder, you add a little punch. So this is about getting those obliques with rotation. Now if this was too hard, I could just do this. Just a little crunch, or I could do a little side crunch, a little rocking crunch. Now to Brazilify it, you're gonna come up, we turn toward the camera, boom, and whatever leg is in the air, I strike with it, I pull it right in. And I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna get the heart rate. So I will sit up, let me throw those punches in, turn over, so notice how one leg is in the ground, and I'm gonna strike, so I'll start a little faster. Up. So we do this in capoeira, in jiu-jitsu. We love it. You could come out, knee strike, back kick. A lot of fun stuff you can do. It's gonna get the heart rate up. It's gonna get the arms and shoulders. I guarantee you this is gonna get your abs too. So that's our fourth move. We spice up a little crunch. That was awesome. Okay, well, you can't do it. I, I just was, I'm guilty. I was watching you for a little bit. That will not get abs. <laughs> I knew that. Those are awesome moves. I love them. And I love it that your whole thing about just having them be quick, it doesn't have to take all day. It's just intense moves. It was awesome. Thank you. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> Brett's got a new program coming out. Tell us about it. 20 minute body. It's all 20 minute workouts and 20 minute recipes. Very proud. You can find out all the information at 20minutebody.com. Two oh, minutes. I'll two put the link minutes. below too. Put cool. the link below. And you can find him on YouTube as well at Brett Hobel. Yep. Correct? All my social media, my name. I'll put all the information below. Thanks, guys, and thanks, Brett, for having thanks me. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Yeah! Next time you're showing your apps. Okay, I promise. <laughs> Bye. Bye, guys.